Hey, welcome back everybody to Small Backyard, Big Garden. We're going to go through the, the backyard backwards today. We've been boring everybody with tomatoes, <laughs> so we're going to start at the other end. As you can see, the blueberries are dwindling down. There's still a couple. Still producing, but they're small. Not as big as they once were, and not as abundant. But no. we're still enjoying them. They're still there. And they're still delicious. Oh yeah. Um, I figured while we're at it, we'll harvest some basil. While we're here looking at blueberries. We haven't really paid much attention to the herb toilet with the videos, have we? No, no. And now that we're actually harvesting from it. Hey, look at that. And so what's everything that you have? Point to everything you have and name it. Okay. Let me uncover some stuff. This is going to make, make a nice pesto. Ooh, I can smell it from here. It smells so good. This is going to make a really nice pesto. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got cilantro. Okay, cilantro. We got basil. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells awesome. We got lemon verbena mm -hmm. for when our lemon tree isn't... Producing? Yep. Yeah. We got um, stevia. Stevia. Natural sweetener in case... We don't have sugar or honey. And the leaves are just fun to eat. Yeah, I mean, wow, this it's called sweet leaf for a reason. It tastes just like sugar, it's incredible. It's it like is candy. delicious. It is. And we got rosemary, which it's always good to have some fresh rosemary, rosemary and keep it pruned. Everything, even to help keep your house smelling good. Put a sprig of it somewhere, right? Yeah. We haven't been har harvesting our herbs on camera, have we? No, we have not. So anyways, we're almost done here. We got a lot of fun stuff. A lot of good stuff today to do. Oh yeah. Gosh, I can smell that from here. That smells and we, wonderful. We just passed 300 subscribers. Right on. Thank you very much, everybody. That's awesome. It's a huge motivation for us. I might as well grab some of the sweet leaf while we're at it. Oh, oh, look at her leaf. <laughs> and you can dry this out. Uh huh. And then powder it up in a blender or vitamin grinder or whatever. Yeah. And the powder can be used just like a sugar. And the lemon verbena, that can be used, you can just soak the leaves in tea. Yeah, tea. Right? That's mainly why. Uh, You're growing it? We're growing it. And we've got cat grass here somewhere, don't we? Somewhere. Yeah. Um, I can. Here's catnip right here drying out. Oh, that's too funny. Go ahead and put our herbs right here. Yeah. We'll use this to dry them out a little bit. If you have cats, catnip is the best to give to them. They are so weird. Our cats like to roll on it. And then we have lemongrass right here. And that is. I'm trying to steal a pot from my wife from the front yard. <laughs> For the lemongrass? Yes, ma'am. But you said you wanted to leave it in the front. Well, I'm not sure the HOA will allow us to have eh, lemongrass. Well, whatever. Okay, on to something fun. Green beans over here. Love our green beans. These are jade green beans growing in a bunch of pots that I electric wired together. Like a pyramid almost. See the pyramid of little pots? Uh, many of you have seen the bees drink from it. Mm-hmm. See, there's, oh, well, I just missed one. He just flew away. But the, um, they've been doing really well here. This plant has been doing really well here. Is it in the shade that they like the shade? No. It's the sun. The sun, yeah. That's right, that's what I meant to say. Every couple of days, give it a turn mm-hmm and it's been a very healthy plant for us this year hasn't it so far I mean look yeah those are huge Wow that's a pretty nice green bean that's right there. huge it's awesome it'll be delicious in salads for tomorrow fresh green beans all right, and I think we found our, our thing where we promised that we're not going to go too much over half an hour. Yeah, I think 30 minutes is perfect. For everybody involved. 
But when you guys see how much I, we can pull out in a half an hour. Yeah. Less time it takes to than to go to the grocery store and have to package everything up and stand in line to buy it. <clears throat> Am I not, right? Not to mention it's fresher. It's got more nutrition. And it's the gift that keeps on giving. So you just have to pay for it once. Every day the produce is off the plant, it loses a nutritional value. Yeah. That is very true. And there's always such a big difference between grocery store bought produce and homegrown produce. You can just taste the love. So these like right. full sun. So, handful of green beans. Very good. We have more green beans to harvest in another part of the yard. Mm-hmm. Put these aside for now. So what are we doing now, carrots? Sure, we'll move on to something fun and I mean, exciting like carrots. Because they're right there, might as well. And I need the pot. Yeah. So we're gonna harvest the whole darn thing. And we did a lot of carrots last video too, if anybody missed that or happened to catch it. Ooh, those are good looking carrots. Those are gonna be some nice baby carrots steamed. Mm -hmm. Those are good looking. But it's just getting too hot. They're gonna bolt and go to seed soon. Yeah. And. That's no good. They lose their flavor when they get too hot. Yeah. So. I didn't know that. They're not as, they're a lot sweeter in the colder weather. That's why I like growing our winter oh, carrots. Oh, okay. And carrots uh, like their full sun as well? They do. Mm -hmm. They just don't like them being hot. Okay. That's why I have to stick them in a half shaded area. Uh huh. They're looking nice. And as always, patience is the key. We've, when we first started growing carrots, we didn't, you know. Took a while. The majority of them came out looking a little runty. But we're finally getting really good carrots. Yeah, we were getting a lot of those. Yeah. Patience, patience, patience. And don't give up. Just keep on keeping on and you'll, you know, you'll be bound to get a good harvest. So, what uh, kind of carrots are these? Um, or do you it's know? It's a Nantes type. Uh huh. I don't. I'd have to go look at the packet. Okay. Um. But just a normal. All these carrots were planted before I just we even started this YouTube channel. You, oh yeah, that's Whoa, right. Look at this one. That is one carrot. That is one carrot. <laughs> oh my goodness. That Maybe is... I should work on the soil. Make it a little looser next time. That's the most interesting thing ever. That probably hit a piece of wood mulch or something. Yeah. And decided that it had other plants. That, I've never seen that. One, two, three, four, five. That's five carrots in one. You get a five for one. But yeah, they're looking really nice. Look at all these carrots. Ooh, there's a little bug on me. Just and for one pot, that's pretty good. Just a little tip, if anybody ever wonders why I'm, I, I like to wash them right away. Uh-huh. It is almost impossible to get the dirt off if you let them dry. Oh, okay. It's a lot easier to clean them immediately. And it's not like you're spending a lot of time cleaning. You're basically just no. sloshing them around in a bucket of water. Totally. To get all the loose dirt off. And then you can always go back and scrub them, but yeah. All right. It's a good looking carrots. That's exciting. Okay. Especially that weird one. That one's really neat. You want to show them the watermelons while I'm... Sure, I'll show the cantaloupes first. Is that fine? Yeah. All right, so last video we saw them, they were about the size of what, a ping pong bowl? And those are our cantaloupes now. 
He has them sitting on those little buckets so as not to put too much pressure on the vine, I'm assuming. Here's a patty pan. And then here are our watermelons. Crazy, they're getting crazy. And there's that really cool round one in the back sitting on a, looks like a, pot, a little plastic pot. There's that. And then, All right, why they're here? Just don't kill yourself. All right. There's our patty pan. We love patty okay, pan. Off. Such a fun squash. Get some cucumbers while we're here. Do you want to show them the cucumbers? Sure. Here, put the patty pan away. There's one. There's a little little rent one back there. Here's some good looking cucumbers right there. Two right there. There's one in there. Two. Two in there. Look at that guy. Fancy. That guy looks like it's ready. Yeah. Even though it didn't grow big. No, but you know what? They don't always have to be humongous to be worthy. There we go. And there's that big guy. We'll let those fill out just a little bit. Two. You can see that it's not done filling out. No. Yeah, it's still got a little bit to go right there. Okay. All right. I'll get up there. Um, what kind of cucumbers are these? I want to say they're super slicer or silver slicer. Mm -hmm. Here again, I we, need to... But we've had very good luck with these. This was our first time doing these particular cucumbers, was it? Yes. And it's just been a, a very, very gr uh, good plant for us. It's produced a lot. How many cucumbers do you think that plant has produced? Well... I want to say we're probably up around 15. All uh, right, yeah, that's what I was going to say, anywhere between 10 and 20. I mean, we're just, we're making pickles today. Mm-hmm. Um, and the key is to always come out and pick the produce so the plant can continue producing, right? Yeah, and if you're new to the channel, you might know what the plastic's for. We usually put our plastic down when we're going to harvest some potatoes. I like to grow my potatoes in a little fabric pot and you only can... because I don't have the land to put them in the ground. But they're convenient too, those pots. Let's see what we got here. And you can feel the potato growing on the side of the pot when you... Oh, there's a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, because potatoes take a while. So I usually like to sprinkle carrots or radishes something you know why not yeah why not get a carrot or two yeah that's pretty funny and then those are just some um, animal shaving bedding that you use on top yeah just for a mulch for a mulch yeah, i use it for a mulch on top uh -huh. and i also use it for drainage on the bottom okay so you layer it almost yeah it's got a two inch layer on the bottom mm-hmm just to help it drain so it's not sitting on the concrete in a puddle of water. Uh-huh. Look at that, huh? That's a weird looking potato. I didn't even have to... It looks like a chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that, right on the surface. And what uh, type of potatoes are these? Ones that we buried. <laughs> Did we get these at a grocery store? store and then bury them? <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's what's wonderful about potatoes. When they start getting funky looking and growing little plant life out of them, if they've been sitting around your house for too long, just stick those bad boys in the soil and they'll grow their own plant, huh? Yeah, and if you're ever wondering where I get my compost worms from our worm bin, a lot of them are in here. Yeah, they like to go underneath these um, cloths planters too. I assume because it's nice and cool under there, huh? Jared? Yes. Oh, 
That was funny, that one weird looking potato. It does, it looks like a chicken nugget. Or a bear. It looks like a bear. Alright, let's do the rest <laughs> real quick. So funny. All before right. we lose the audience. This is a, the fun part. Especially if you have kids, you can get them nice and dirty. Oh, look at all those little treasures. Oh, goodness. It's very satisfying. Those are some healthy looking potatoes. Don't you think? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, those, those are going to be good. super buttery. Ooh, yeah. They have, ooh, wow. Wow, that's a good looking potato. That's a big one. We haven't had, that's probably the biggest potato we've ever had. And we haven't been growing potatoes for too long. We grew them last year and wasn't that our first year? No, we've been growing them for three years. Oh, I don't remember. Well, <laughs> still it's been hit and miss on the luck with potatoes, right? Um, no, once I, the first year, yes. The first year, I meant. Now I've got it down. Mm-hmm. Not bad. And if you're all wondering why I haven't done how-to videos, is, well, you can't give away all your secrets before you <laughs> get an audience. <laughs> That's right. So, now's a good time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like, wanna... subscribe, share. Spread the word. It's not like I'm one of those YouTubers that are just trying to exploit coordinate. Oh no, absolutely not. It's it's good to show people that you can get a lot of great food and feed your family out of a small space. You don't have to have a huge farm like others do as well. You know, other YouTubers have these huge plots of land. You don't need a huge plot of land to feed your family. You just need you know, the right amount of knowledge and motivation and you can totally do it, especially, it's so important, especially nowadays. So you know all the good stuff that's going into your family. And like I always say, when, you know, you grow it in your backyard, it'll never be recalled. And nope. you know exactly what you're putting into your bodies. A lot of those recalls are because they're spraying. Pesticides. Well, no, I don't even want to say it. But there's brand. I'm yeah, there's a lot some that pretty hairy fertilizers that companies do in order to, <clears throat> you know, keep their produce in the grocery stores. But well, this has been a pretty good haul with the potatoes. Oh, I see a little one no. by your foot. Oh, I'm sure I missed a few. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, yep, got it. That's funny. All right, let me wash them off real quick because the same rule applies. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's good to wash them off as fast as you can. And you, you, um, you reuse your, your soil here? Yeah. That's the good thing about we putting the, it. the plastic down. You can reuse it. It's good soil. And the Since best part about it is it has its own worms in it, right? Yeah, it's got its own worms. What I'm gonna do is end up Get closer. piling all this in the center. Uh huh. I'm gonna end up digging around the cone. Eventually, the, the worms are gonna avoid me digging. Uh huh. So they're all gonna go to the bottom of the plastic. Uh huh. And when I'm done moving the big pyramid of soil, right? I'm left with a big gob of worms for my worm bin. Perfect. Um, matter of fact, the Native Americans used to notch out sticks and make noise. Oh! That would cause the worms all to uh, surface. I didn't know that. Now you do. Do you know why? Or do you just, that's because just a it's, trick. Because it's the noise of an animal or a raccoon uh, digging. Something for, digging through it, yeah. That's smart. All right, moving on. We're losing light and losing time. Ow. What are we at? Stupid chair. Um, 20 minutes. 
almost killed myself backing up over that chair. And what kind We're, of... Uh, I bet you anything there's... About to be Jared, what kind of uh, soil are you using? I know you get the animal shavings. Is this just normal potting soil? I did a video. What? I did a video. I showed what potting soil I use. Oh, so if you want to know, you got to go back and see the video. If my wife would pay attention to the videos I put out, we would know. Okay, moving on. Peppers. Banana peppers. This is a family favorite. And man, I think we've harvested off of this every video so far, huh? Mm-hmm. And we like them because they're not spicy. This is more of a banana tree. They're sweet and not spicy. You want to come in here? How about them peppers? Very nice. And then behind it are green beans. And more tomatoes. Those are the green beans. Okay. All right. Diatomaceous earth, if anybody's wondering. That's what the white stuff is. And banana peppers, like full sun, shade. Let's talk about peppers since we're harvesting them. Uh, peppers. They like nitrogen. They like full sun. They are one of those plants that love the heat. So they're a good summer plant. They are. And they very prolific, abundant. We got as many peppers as we need. Mm-hmm. And as many as I can carry. Uh, show them the green beans. I'll be moving back to the green beans. Here's some little ones that are growing right now. They're starting out. Green beans need something to climb. So they're climbing all up there. Um, I don't see any big ones. Are they supposed to be small like that? Um, they can get bigger. But as they get bigger, they get tougher. These ones look good right here. That's a good one. As opposed to the skinny little ones. Um, I also interplanted a lot of different green beans together. This batch is not ready yet. I don't see many on there. I see a couple on there. There's a lot of really skinny ones. Ugh, bugs are ridiculous. <clears throat> Beans. Um, what are nitrogen? I was gonna say, what are these ones called? Uh, these are Kentucky Wonder. Okay. Kentucky Wonder. Here's a couple more. They're really skinny right there. And the tomato plant that was here Here's is gone. So another handful. Mm -hmm. Here's the corn, bigger than me now. And that's got corn, green beans, and I believe I planted squash. More squash. Oh my gosh, and another tomato. You know what, I think we're done with the cherry tomatoes. Yeah, there's too much. We've got a lot going oh, in the and other end. tomato. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I uh, used straight compost for this. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> and why. And there probably tomato seeds in the compost. That is why. So, yeah, no potting soil at all. Just straight compost. Okay. Uh, that was an experiment. I wasn't quite sure it was going to work. Well, it seemed to be working well. Um, 25 minutes almost. 25 minutes. There's All a right. bell pepper. Is that ready yet? No, it looks like it's got a little time. Yeah. There's a little But one. then again, you know what? I'll take it. Oh. Okay. It'd be really nice to have a bell pepper. Yeah. 
We haven't had any in a, quite a while. And this is, the lunchbox peppers are coming up. Oh yeah, those little lunchbox peppers. So cute. There's more over there. There's another one. A little pepper. A little pepper right there. All right. How about, um... We'll do some red Russian kale real quick while okay. we're here. Let me turn around. And I'm surprised this is still going. It seems to be going really well. It is. I thought it was going to be way too hot. You know, it seems to be enjoying its life. Which is unfortunate because I want to plant something here. But it does look different now that the tomatoes are gone. Yeah, it really opens it up, which is why I did it. I mean, you can only eat so many cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I want to say we cut it back this time last year as well, once it threw off a bunch. Not as much as this, but we no, did I, cut some back. Yeah, I didn't eradicate it. But. You've got sweat on your nose. But right. yeah, that kale seems to be doing very well. It's a happy plant. Just grabbing a few of the outside leaves from each plant. So for kale, you want to go on the outside and work in? Or is that like for any lettuce? Yeah, that's just about for anything that you're trying to keep. But That's pretty good. Yeah, handful of kale. How are we doing on time? 27 minutes. All right. I know how we can heat up the rest of that. You keep tripping over that plastic. I know. Let's see. Tomatoes. Start over here with tomatoes. I'm following you. All right. There. They're kind of hidden. Uh-oh. There's a random orange one. Oh, that's rolling. Oh, that's funny. So these are the midnight snack tomatoes? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Midnight snack. Um, this is a, just a cutting. Put it at beginning of the year what do you mean didn't we, we have this plant from last year no or it's new yeah this is a new one. Oh, I didn't know I just took a cutting that we had it from last year stuck it right in the ground that took off they're so good they do so well here and so far we've had no Hornworms, right? That we've been able to find. Right. But then again, we let loose praying mantises. Lots of them. And they really like the the worms. Do the ladybugs help with that, or is that just aphids? That's yeah, just the aphids. It still helps a whole lot, though. Boy, those are sweet tomatoes. I think you got most of the ones that were yeah, in I can, bunches. Yeah, I can finish up. Mm. Yeah, I want one too. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. 29 minutes. 29 minutes. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see how much we can get. Come around this way. So what are you doing now? Is this the squash you're looking for? I'm just searching. For anything yep. to pick up? It looks like we'll have lemon cucumber soon. Yeah. Beautiful strawberry. Yeah, wow, that's picture perfect strawberry right there. I'll hold on no. to that one, I guess. Lemon cucumbers are looking good. You're about at 30 minutes now. 30 minutes, huh? Mm -hmm. 
And this is our Dang. lettuce. Beautiful lettuce right there. Looking really boys. good. I'm gonna come over on this end. I mean, these are some good sized tomatoes. Yeah, those are, oh, I've zoomed in and you put them away. Yeah, they're all looking beautiful. Especially this lettuce. I just showed the lettuce. I'm going to show it again. Speaking Every... of, lettuce. You're at 30 minutes, 30 seconds. 30 minutes, 30 seconds. All right. Again, harvesting outside leaves. Outside, work on the outside and work in. Yep. What kind of lettuce is this? Red Fire and Amanda. Red Fire and Amanda. Not my particular favorite. I like it. I think it's but delicious. But it grows super well in the heat. Oh, yeah. Seems to be loving its life. Looks like you're putting together a bouquet for a wedding. I am. <laughs> and then we got lettuces, see? This is what happens when it gets a little hotter. Uh huh. So we'll just top it. Okay. Some oak leaf. Oak leaf? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Gives a little different look to the salad. It's kind of the same look as an arugula, only it's bigger, huh? Yeah. All right, you're almost at 32. All right. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. But not as beautiful as you, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just for a garnish. <laughs> there we go. Pretty. All right. Well, thanks everybody. 300 uh, subscribers. Appreciate it. If you've been freeloading, Press that subscribe button, like, share, <laughs> and um, tell you, grow some food in your backyard. Your body will thank you. Yes, and your wallet. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, and grow on. Good night.